the 14th boss we have is Smashy and Bashy, which is a, really a pair of bosses. And the strategy is quite straightforward once you get it down. Basically, you freeze Smashy after every one, uh, every second uh, of Bashy's ground pound. And on the third one where he shoots out the beams, you have to use the uh, the reflected ground pound to go P guard to damage him. Uh, sometimes, there we go. Okay, so basically, you get stasis, Bashy does two ground pounds, you freeze Smashy, you line yourself up with Smashy, you reflect the ground pound, it damages both of them. You do that uh, three times and Sometimes both of them die, sometimes only Bashy dies, but usually Bashy dies. So once Bashy dies, if your shield is still alive, Smashy will come here and start throwing snowballs. You gotta learn how to P-guard them. You can learn that through the dojo. Same thing with P-guarding the ground pounds. But you just keep P-guarding them, and then you should be able to kill him through all your P-guards if your shield is good enough, which it should be at this point. If your shield breaks like mine did, your backup plan is... Uh, he, he throws the snowballs, you just have to run, it's kind of just uh, random. Uh, looking at the ground helps slightly, you know, if you see one that's uh, closing in on you, you can move away from it. But uh, then he'll, he'll uh, try and uh, do his uh, little charge attack at you, which you'll just teleport away once he does that, like I did. And uh, after that, he's going to do his snowballs again, and once he does that, all you've got to do is sit there and P-guard all of his snowballs. The strategy is the exact same with melee as it is with magic. So you just need stasis and a shield and to properly pull it off. Like that. And then you just keep on doing that. So uh, when he throws the snowballs like this, only move in one direction. Otherwise you are almost certain to get hit. There you go, now he's dead. You see, my shield is still alive this time, so I can have a much better chance of killing him. p guarding all the snowballs. And uh, that's it. That's how you kill Smashy and Bashy, which is uh, the 14th boss in our guide. However, there is another way you can do it, which is my personal favorite way that I do not recommend to anybody because it is incredibly risky and has high chances of failure, but... As you saw there, uh, I managed to kill both Smashy and Bashy at the exact same time in one hit in exactly 8 seconds and 48 milliseconds without taking a single hit of damage. That is a constant time that never changes and always works. If you can pull it off, it will never fail. The problem is actually pulling it off. See, I didn't quite pull it off there. I really don't recommend trying it because it's extremely risky and uh, usually it doesn't end well, but it did work out in my favor that time, so that was uh, lucky. I got to show that off. Yeah, I really don't recommend using that though because it's way too risky, but it's uh, just interesting how every single time you win at exactly 8 seconds and 48 milliseconds, and I think that's because it's always on Smashy's ground pound which is always at the exact same time, which is pretty cool. But uh, there you go. That's how you beat Smashy and Bashy with magic and melee. Pretty simple.